other silver here. And take it, take the black, dip it in. Make sure you get it nice and constant. So you don't want to lose that black pigment that we have going on. And sorry. Alright, so there we have the basic um, top done. Now we're going to take a that same little small blending brush type thing here, and we're going to take this black, and we're going to smudge it out down here. And her look is pretty thick down here. So this is what is pretty smoked out all across. Just like that. Now we're gonna take this uh the same the silver and pack it to give it a pop and sparkle like she has underneath her eyes. And like I, I said, this is just um, not as winged out or winged out this way. It is almost that um, winged, but we're just going to leave it a little less as dramatic. Just to make it a little bit more wearable. I mean, you can wear this to um, party, party. Uh, you know, something like not work. I would not recommend this for work. <laughs> so we are going to take that same color here and highlight. Highlight, highlight, highlight. All the way to the lash line and down the tears up area. There we go. All right. So now we are going to take um, our eyeliner. We're going to line our eyes. And we're going to go all the way in here and kind of round it off here. And if you mess up, just uh, clean it up gently. All the way in here, one of the tops of your eyes. There we go. And you really want it to be blacked out. Okay, and then line the tops as well. So you want to start in the center and work backwards to deposit the most color, and then lightly. Flick your flick, 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 just like that. And flick it. Okay, now we're going to go over with our angled brush with the black and then dip it in there. And we're going to drag this color all the way up. And all the way down here. 
Okay, we're going to take that highlighted color again as well. Highlight this front part. And I'm a little darker, so I might need, I need a little bit lighter of a color, but that's an option. I'm taking pink, um, soft pink. It is very, you can't even tell it's pink. It's very nice color. There we go. And then we're going to take silver and bust this here. We're going to take our angled brush and we're going to go in very gently with the silvery black color. Just like that. We're going to take our lighter color, dust this guy. Just like that. All right. Now you rimmed your you did your rimmed your eyes. You are going to put on mascara. Sorry, I got lost for five seconds. <laughs> okay, we're gonna line our mascara. Do our liner, and then we're gonna do our mascara. And her look is really really like thick and voluptuous. Um, lashes. So you're going to keep going from the root ish right here all the way up. Make sure you don't get this highlighted part all full of mascara because you don't want to ruin the look. And we're going to go up, up. Some people like to pull them out to the side and I think it's, I personally do mine up but in this look she's doing hers all the way up. So. It's like probably if you don't wear false eyelashes with this look, it's probably about two or three coats of mascara. So, the dramatic eye look. And now we're going to take the bottom. And we're going to really get in there. Just like that. It's really dramatic and her lashes out on the bottom are really, really thick looking as well. I'm sure she's wearing false eyelashes. There's just no doubt in my mind. There's probably two sets there. So we're going to go over again with another coat. Okay, so those are our eyes. I'm going to show you how to do an eyebrow. We're going to take a dark brown, any dark brown that matches, or any brown or anything that matches your skin. Hers go up this way. And then straight down. And mine go like this, so hers go straight up. And down. Straight up, straight up, and down. Okay, so now we're going to take um, any kind of color that you have that's a nude mouth look. Hers is like a peachy um, pink color. I'm going to take this shimmer color right here that we use to highlight. I'm going to apply this all over my lips. like that. And then I'm going to take um, this color I have. Um, it's from Avon. It's like a more shimmery uh, Toby Brown kind of color. It is called Tiki. I'm going to take Tiki. Since I'm darker, this is holiday. This is the best. Yeah, the best bet for me. Hers are like a brown -y pink 
color and that soft pink to highlight in the center. Now I'm going to put her look is just like this. It is um, with a nude mouth that's just like a pinky um, brown kind of color and really dramatic eyes and her eyebrows defined. And she does have, um, it's just very matte. So I'm going to add, I like shimmer, so I'm just going to add this tad. Literally just like a squeeze. Just to glamify it a bit. And I'm going to take bronzer. If you're going to um, go out or do anything like that, then that you can just do bronzer. If you just want to tone it down a little and not put so much black in it, um, you can do that and wear it every day. This is my e.l.f. It's called Warm Tan. I'm taking a little brush like this, very gently, the top of the cheek to the corner of the mouth, and blend. Again, from the top of the cheek to the corner of the mouth and blend. And then you're just going to want to hit anywhere that the sun normally hits you. Forehead, you don't want to put too much on. It just looks just like a little pin. Um, this is our look. Uh, it is a Julia Roberts inspired look with this smoky glamorous, almost kind of cat eye look. Um, and really smoked out at the bottom with the nude mouth. Hers is like a matte mouth, but I put a little bit of shimmer in it. And um, just a little contouring on the cheeks and uh, really defined eyebrows. So I hope you guys like this look. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I was really inspired by her look. So if you have any other requests, please let me know. I am so excited. And my name is Crystal. You can find me on Blogspot. I hope you have a wonderful day and a day of love, inspiration, beauty, and great havoc. And have a great day, guys. Bye.